हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सुप्रिया वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडे इन दिस सेशन आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट टेक्निक्स इन हीमोसाइटोमेट्री दैट इज आरबीसी काउंट और एरिथ्रोसाइट काउंट मेथड बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो यू विल बी एबल टू डिफाइन द टर्म आरबीसी रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ आरबीसी काउंट मैथड प्रोसीजर ऑफ माइक्रो डायल्यूशन एंड माइक्रो डायल्यूशन मैथड एंड क्राइटेरिया टू काउंट आरबीसी अंडर द माइक्रोस्कोप सो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड we will start the video by discussing the full form and some characteristic features of rbc rbc is an acronym of the term red blood cell and it is also called erythrocyte rbcs are the heavy blood cells that constitute the major portion of blood and their production is regulated by the erythropoietin hormone that is released by the kidney now here a very important thing to note that a normal rbc count in human ranges from 4.2 to 6.1 million cells per microliter friends do you know why rbcs are red color the answer to this question is the presence of hemoglobin in the cytoplasm of rbcs that carries heme groups that impart red color not only to the rbcs but also to the blood a normal rbc appears as a biconcave disc with a small dent in the central portion its diameter normally ranges from 7.5 to 8.7 mm rbcs have a thickness of 1.7 to 2.2 mm another important feature of rbcs is that they are anucleated which means nucleus is absent in rbcs RBCs have a life span of 120 days and later they are removed out of the circulatory system by the specialized macrophages now coming into the requirements of RBC count method we need hemocytometer RBC pipette micro pipette RBC diluting fluid glass cover and RBC specimen or blood sample starting with hemocytometer A hemocytometer refers to a micro slide or a thick glass slide that is extensively used to enumerate or calculate the number of blood cells after diluting the given blood sample. Here you can see the elevated portions in the hemocytometer slide that provides a mounting support to the glass cover or cover slip. This is the front view of hemocytometer that has the ruled central portion. where the diluted blood sample is loaded and there is 0.1 mm gap between the counting grid and glass cover a counting grid has a nine large squares as you can see in this diagram this is the enlarged view of counting grid and you need to note a single large square possesses 25 medium squares that you can count over here and a single medium square is ruled into 16 small squares to count rbcs only this central large square is focused under the microscope here the letter r represents the area to count red blood cells to perform micro dilution method we need rbc pipette to dilute the blood sample with the rbc diluting fluid rbc pipette has a reading from 0.5 up to 101 mark suction rubber tube aids in capillary movement of blood sample and diluent red bead is the characteristic feature of the rbc pipette that helps in homogenization of the blood and rbc diluting fluid and through the mouthpiece blood is sucked then to perform micro dilution method we need micro pipette to aspirate or dispense desired volume of the sample Through plunger button we can adjust the volume of the sample that has to be aspirated or dispensed by rotating the plunger button clockwise or anti clockwise and we can press and depress the plunger button to aspirate or dispense the sample digital display shows the reading of the sample's volume in microliters pipette tip is fixed to the micro pipette tip cone to draw the sample into and dispense from the micro pipette by pressing the tip ejector button we can remove the pipette tip then rbc diluting fluid is also required to dilute the given blood sample in order to count the red blood cells hyams diluting fluid 
and formalin citrate diluting fluid are the two reagents that are generally used as the RBC diluent and the composition of both the reagents is given here. Then glass cover is mounted on the top of the hemocytometer which is generally square shaped. It has a width of 20 mm and it is placed over the central ruled area of the hemocytometer. Then blood sample or RBC specimen is a prerequisite need to calculate the red blood cells. Generally a capillary blood or anticoagulated blood is used. Capillary blood can be taken by directly pricking the tip of a ring finger. EDTA and compounds like sodium citrate, potassium oxalate etc. are used as anticoagulants that used to prepare a whole blood samples. Now we will learn the procedure of two standard methods micro dilution and macro dilution to count red blood cells. Starting with the procedure of micro dilution method first you need to prepare the sample for which you need to suck the blood up to a mark 0.5 of a RBC pipette. After that suck the RBC diluting fluid up to a mark 101 then horizontally rotate the RBC pipette to mix the blood sample and RBC diluent. After that to load the sample you need to place the glass cover over the central ruled area of hemocytometer. Finally you can load the diluted blood sample towards the edge of glass cover up to a depth of 0.1 mm. Then coming into the procedure of micro dilution method you have to perform sample preparation as in micro dilution method. First you need to aspirate 3.98 ml of RBC diluting fluid plus 0.02 ml of blood sample using a micro pipette. Then dispense the sample into a clean dry test tube and thoroughly mix the contents of the sample. After that loading of the sample is just similar to the micro dilution method besides the fact that here we use micro pipette instead of RBC pipette. We will end up this video by knowing the criteria to calculate red blood cells. After sample preparation and loading of the sample you can observe the prepared slide under the microscope. First you have to focus the rulings of the hemocytometer under the 10x objective. Afterwards you need to focus on the large central square under 40x objective. Then by using coarse and fine adjustments observe these 5 medium squares. Here the red lines indicate the areas not to count RBCs and the green lines indicate the areas to count RBCs. So we can manually count the RBCs within these 5 medium squares and the RBCs at left and bottom margins. We can follow this pattern of counting RBCs via hand tally. Finally by putting the value of RBCs that you have counted in the given formula you can get the value of total RBCs per microliter of the sample. So friends this is all for today. I hope you find this lesson useful. To know this topic more in detail you may visit our official website that is biologyreader.com. Link is provided in the description box. So friends do like, comment, share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for more videos.